car, I could drive this car all day long. Twin turbo V6 sounds lovely, really does. Porsche's range is bigger than ever, and we're testing two of their newest and most exciting models, the Macan Turbo and the Cayman GTS. Now clearly they couldn't be more different. The Macan is a sports SUV that has to occasionally cope with this sort of surface, whereas the Cayman GTS is a more powerful version of the lovely Cayman S and comes with sports suspension that should make it right at home on the track. But given that both of these very different Porsches cost just under £60,000, people in the Auto Express office started to wonder just how different they'd be on the test track. So to find out, we're going to put both of them through an Auto Express track battle. The Cayman GTS has 340 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque. It'll hit 60 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds and weighs just 1,345 kilograms. And when it comes to price, it's going to set you back just over 55,000 pounds. The Macan Turbo has 400 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque, but it tips the scales at 1,925 kilograms and will cost you just over £59,000, but it'll still hit 60 miles per hour in just 4.8 seconds. Okay, so the Porsche Cayman GTS. I've been looking forward to driving this car for a long time. Porsche Cayman S is one of my all-time favourite cars, and on a track test track like this, it's just sublime, the Cayman S, you know, mid-engined, beautiful, beautiful balance. So, can the GTS really be that much better? Well, it's got a little bit more power, uh, and this car has got the 20 millimeter lower, stiffer sports suspension. So it hasn't got um, PASM active dampers, but it's 20 mil lower sports suspension. So let's find out what sort of lap time it does. Cayman S is already one of the quicker cars we've ever recorded. So just how quick can the GTS be? Sports exhaust sounds absolutely gorgeous. So second gear out of the last corner and accelerating hard over the start finish line, changing up to third gear about seven and a half thousand, quite long gearing, manual gearbox obviously, so second gear. Now through this left, right, left change of direction, it is absolutely sublime. Just a whiff of oversteer on the exit, about 80 miles an hour up to third gear. Just gorgeous that change of direction. Fourth gear, it's over 110, hard on the brakes. Hard, hard on the brakes, no ceramic brakes, standard brakes in this car, but still mighty, mighty on the brakes. So much stability, the traction out of that hairpin, just incredible, absolutely amazing. Third gear, sounds epic. Long gear in, so down the third, second gear into here. Oh, the turning through those high speed corners, just mental. And so much precision on the way into the corner. Little, little, little bit of oversteer, but I can just maintain the oversteer in the throttle. Beautifully balanced, at the third gear through these high speed S's. Oh, I could drive this car all day long. Mighty, hard on the brakes. Gearbox and the pedal setup is perfect for heel and toe. Oh, it's just awesome. Mega in the quick stuff and it's so agile on these slow speed corners. Traction again is mega there. And across the line. The Cayman GTS was an absolute delight to drive around the circuit and set an impressive lap time of one minute 10 0.5 seconds. That's 1.2 seconds faster than a Cayman S. But how will the Macan Turbo get on? Okay, so I didn't think I could be any more impressed than a Cayman S, and I have, but I have to say on track, the GTS just polishes that almost perfect car even further than I thought was possible. So how does this car compare? How does a Macan Turbo compare? So it's about £4,000 more, got a twin turbo V6, um, but it weighs over 500 kilograms more than, a, than the Cayman. Obviously, you're comparing a mid-engine sports, rear-wheel drive sports car against a four-wheel drive SUV. So, how's it going to compare? Well, I'd say I drove this car up here very gently on the road, and it's a sublime road car. It's a beautiful cabin, really refined, effortless performance, great road car. But what's it going to be like trying to set a lap time? Well, let's find out. Second gear, we've got everything in the sportiest settings. This car's got the optional torque vectoring as well. So, on the throttle, third gear, and that V twin turbo V6 sounds lovely, really does. And when you get on the brakes, there also is a little bit of dive, but it's well controlled. When you're in these change directions, you really have to work on not getting understeer. So trying to, if you go in really hard, it will turn in, but you just get a lot, a lot of understeer, and that kills the lap time. So trying to keep it really smooth. About 100, 110 braking into this 
chicane, so just only a fraction slower than the Cayman at that point. It sort of it jiggles and hops as you get on the throttle. Traction obviously really good with four-wheel drive. That's a bit of a heavy car, but for an SUV, it's pretty impressive. I mean, I've got to say, this one hasn't got the optional ceramic brakes. If you were going to drive it hard on the circuit all the time, you'd definitely want them. Um, and then there, let's see, just understeer, understeer, just a little bit understeer. You can see a little dial here on the dash shows you the power transferring to the rear. To, to get into the throttle, you do transfer the power to the rear, but it does understeer a bit. Quite good through that high speed lap chase direction, but again, understeer on the exit, trying to keep in the throttle to get the power transfer into the rear. Hard on the brakes, quite a bit of grumble from the brakes now. A bit of understeer there. It's not in its natural environment doing this, that is for sure. It's a very good road car, very good sports SUV, but what sort of lap times are it going to do? Cross the line now. The McCann Turbos is a lap time of 1 minute 15.3 seconds, which incidentally is 2.3 seconds a lap slower than Porsche's fastest SUV, the 542 brake horsepower KN Turbo S. Okay, so the end result wasn't much of a surprise. The Cayman showed a clean pair of heels to the McCann around the test track, but there's more to these cars than racing against the stopwatch. The Cayman GTS is simply one of the finest cars I've ever driven on a circuit. It's beautifully balanced and an absolute joy to drive. The Macan isn't at its best when it's chasing a lap time, but it's got lots of grip and a very smooth, powerful and refined engine, and it's one of the best sports SUVs you can buy. So, in our minds, both of these Porsches are winners. If you want to see some more Porsche track battle action, Click on the video windows to watch the Porsche Cayman S take on the Lotus Evora or watch the KN Turbo take on the tuned KN Turbo S. And to watch our latest video, click on the play icon and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.